What's up YouTube, Brian here, and this is my box fan. Big rack on top. It's been a big thunderstorm today, earlier in the day. I finally let up so I can start unloading some stuff. There's the back of the van, loaded up. Still a little bit of space left, but the dually tires were squatting a little bit, so I'm gonna have to go back tomorrow after I unload. Probably mostly just the wood, and then this air compressor and generator there. Yeah, so this was is most of what is left from the estate cleanout. There's some more pallets and wood down there that I left, which should have been picked up yesterday from a Craigslist ad, free ad I placed. And there's some uh, galvanized uh, steel roofing and some other metal odds and ends that we didn't get to the scrap yard that I posted and should be picked up today. Still probably about a hundred of those PVC pipes that I need to pick up and then whatever odds and ends are left uh, so that the uh, sale closing can go through on Wednesday. So I guess I'll shoot some short clips of some of the stuff as I unload it. Here's a bunch of plywood to be cut down and used. Um, thinking about getting goats, so maybe I'll build a goat shed, uh, sliding glass door, double pane, two screen doors, I don't know, one of them will probably scrap and the other might be usable. Apparently the guy who I bought the truck from, or the van from, left the back door open because in this little tray, a bird's nest with eggs in it and with my finger for size comparison that is about a two inch cup and those eggs are about half inch by three quarters of an inch uh, I might Try to see if I can get it out intact. So loading this van was sort of like playing 3D Tetris in real life. I got all the long sheets of plywood off and I got the start of these shipping crate pieces off. I got probably, I don't know, 30 of them there or so. Pallets there, some angled windows, more of that, and there's this bench here. I got little baby spiders crawling all over the place. And cabinets, and there's a shelf back there, built in. I need to get at least all the wood and the pallets out that I can have room to make another run down tomorrow. I don't really have room to unload the rest of the stuff here, so it's gonna be sitting in the van, most of it, or a good portion of it, until I can sell it. I'll probably look for a swap meet or flea market to unload a bunch of it at. As you can hear, the rain is back go. Now you can see more of it. The four foot discaro. That thing weighed, weighs at least 350 pounds. There are only two of us to get it up. I don't know, three feet onto the deck of the box. We used rope and pulleys, and actually two of these 2x2 two two 
two by tens. There's ramps, and I still had to lift the back end of it off the ramps to get it in here. I will not be unloading this today. I'm gonna try to get get the rest of this wood, some of these, a couple of these boxes. Uh, those boxes up there have PVC couplers, six inch PVC couplers. So I'll probably take those out. Probably that shelf, and then call it good. The rest of the stuff that's left will fit in here pretty easily. But well, while I got the video going. Got a bunch of these cans of plastic lead seal, more tile, drills, belt sander, lights, birdhouse, uh, I don't know, some cover for a John Deere lawn tractor. Got like four different sizes of Jacks, the metal cabinet, craftsman toolbox, natural gas heater, and a bunch of odds and ends. Some 2x12, three foot sections of 2x12. Here's my stack of wood so far. I uh, got a tarp in the box, box van that I'm going to throw over there. Another tarp that I'll throw over that. Uh, say I'm pretty well set for plywood for a while, for my projects at least. Uh, got some more here. These narrower pieces I plan to use for shelves. So I have some more space in this building. Got an old gas pump. shop back back there. No hose though. It does work. Uh, I think that's a 20 gallon water pressure tank. Well, I'm just about done with the farm. Uh, one more trip down there tomorrow to clean out the rest of the stuff. And I gotta settle up with the people that I, I'm working for and then it's back to reselling stuff myself. Um, sales have been rather slow because I haven't really done any listing. Maybe, maybe a dozen things on Amazon in the past month and that's about it. I have been staying on top of renewing my listings on eBay. So some things are still selling. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for my new subscribers and old subscribers. Those of you that keep coming back, uh, tune in next time.